first we're gonna put about uh, we're gonna put 10 rounds of 40 caliber Smith and Wesson. I've got a mix of 165 grain and 180 grain full metal jacket bullets. We'll see how the body armor does on this. <laughs> right off the bat, we realized that even if the body armor protects you from the bullet penetrating, it doesn't protect you from the kinetic effect of the bullet. <laughs> well, there you go. That's uh, the best laid plans going wrong there, right? Welcome back to Zombie Tactics. Uh, I was out at a local uncontrolled range where you can do pretty much whatever you want. And the idea was to test out this uh, level NIJ level 3A body armor from a company called aimbot.exe. Their website is aearmor.com. It's good body armor. Everything that I've done so far tells me that, and the testing that they've got up on their website says that. And of course, it passed the NIJ level 3A tests. So you can count on it to pretty much protect you against just about any common uh, handgun round that there is out there, all the way going up to 41 Magnum. And uh, just about any shotgun round, something like a, a common slug, buckshot, things like that. There are certain kinds of armor penetrating shotgun rounds that are designed to take out engine blocks. I doubt this would protect you against that. But the point I wanted to make and what I'm doing to kind of rescue that, I don't know what you call it, uh, blooper footage or comedy footage there, is that I shot this body armor a total of four times. And you saw the first time there and it came flying off of the box that I was using as a backing surface for the armor. It did that because so much kinetic energy was expended at that point in time that it, it pushed it off of the tape and pushed the box back and of course it comes flying out. Now why did that happen? It happened because what this kind of body armor does is it takes the force of impact and spreads it out over a wider surface so that instead of penetrating, it now expends all its energy against that surface. If you were wearing this, and I'll show you this right now, the shot uh, on that first one is right here. That first shot I took is right here. And uh, later on you'll see me doing a second, uh, a third, and a fourth shot. I've got one, two, where are they? One, two, three, four shots here on this armor. None of them have penetrated through to the back. This is just where the nylon uh, bag that houses the, the actual armor material itself got split. But it did its job just fine against that 40 caliber ammunition. So no penetrations with these four shots, but what you'll see is that there's still an effect, a kinetic effect, because of the way that's now going to take all of that energy and instead of using it for penetrating, it now becomes more like you're getting hit with a baseball that's thrown at a high rate of speed. Now, most of the time when people get shot, they don't even necessarily feel it because all of that energy goes into the act of penetrating and that penetrating is such a violent event that most of the time people will say, afterwards it feels like somebody was was like flicking them or thumping them with a finger or something like that it's not this big <laughs> but kind of take a look at what that backing material looked like after just that one first shot uh, this one right here after we took a look at it later see how that that still you get that that whole area there yeah so you're gonna so it may not penetrate but right you're gonna have broken ribs right now the point behind that is the bullet hits, and since that kinetic energy has to go somewhere, and it can't be used for penetrating, what did it do? It did create a massive trauma behind this armor. This kind of soft body armor does not make you bulletproof. It doesn't mean bullets are going to bounce off of you. What will ordinarily happen is the bullets will get caught up in the material here. And I'll show you some pictures of what hardball FMJ ammo looks like after it's encountered something like this. And you'll see that these are kind of flattened out. You might think, oh, well, that's, uh, that's a hollow point and it's expanded. Now, that's not expansion. That's that this bullet hitting something that it can't penetrate, and now that lead within it is going to split that... Um, that jacket open because it's got no place to go and you're gonna feel that and if you've got a rib behind that or a bone behind that very good chance that that rib is gonna be broken and you will definitely feel a <coughs> and you will know that you've been hit the good part of, of course is that you know boom this isn't hitting me in the heart that one most certainly would have hit me in the heart if it would have hit here this one's not I don't know could be a subclavian artery or something up here 
I'm not taking one in the gut here, and I'm not taking another one just slightly below the heart here. It would not penetrate through and do that kind of potentially much more lethal damage. That doesn't mean you can't be hurt when you're wearing body armor. It doesn't turn you into Superman, and that's kind of the point behind this, uh, this video here. Body armor is a good thing. I like this body armor so far a lot, and I'm going to continue testing it. You'll see some more tests of this armor as I shoot more things with it. It's probably going to end up getting shot about 40, 50 times before I imagine it will actually fail from something that I do to it. But uh, this aimbot.exe armor, great soft body armor, but it doesn't make you Superman, and that's kind of the point of the video. That's all I kind of had to say about that. Um, that's zombie tactics for today. We'll see you next time. Let's roll in some more of the footage of these other shots so you can see how I continue to have problems here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Let's try this again with the rest of the nine rounds. <laughs> I, I may need to revisit how I'm attaching this thing. Again, I've got it taped up like you wouldn't believe now. It's gone. I just shot it. The, I just shot it through the back of the, the box. <laughs>